Welcome back to Diddly Squat Gaming, where we are in Greenland's farm. And today we are going to be doing something a little different, but yet something kind of the same. <laughs> so uh, first things first is let's uh, let's get some hay. I noticed that this was empty, so yep, let's uh, keep feeding them until it doesn't accept anymore. Oh, one more. Nice thing about these bales are that they're uh, they're completely liftable. They're only uh, 600 liters or 35 kilograms, so not not at all unrealistic. Although, <laughs> how many times am I gonna have to do this? <laughs> uh, let me just double check. Uh, where is it? It's in this. Uh, yes. Okay, so it looks like it holds about a thousand liters, or eleven thousand liters. Yeah, eleven thousand five hundred. Perfect. So, uh, in fact, let's not have it glitch through the floor. Uh, so yeah, I'm. I'm <laughs> the last episode I put out, I wasn't too impressed with. Um, I don't know. I just felt like, whoop, gotta watch out where I'm walking. I just didn't feel like we got a whole lot done. Um, we even have all these bales in here, so. But, uh, this episode, we are going to be heading down to the store. Because we are going to be renting a couple of things. And if I could find the store. Ooh, okay, well, nothing's, nothing's really useful. I mean, that would be fun just to have as an old schooly farm tractor. You could almost park it in front of the uh, in front of the uh, the road there, and have it as a decoration. But nope, we're gonna skip that. We are going to look into getting a medium tractor. I think what we're going to do is probably this one here, the Massey Ferguson MF7S. Uh, we don't need really anything else with it and we're going to lease it Ooh, it's seven thousand dollars all right you know what let's keep a running total of uh how much money we're spending so i'm going to say seven thousand one hundred sixty five because we are going to lease this we are also going to be leasing uh let's see mowers we have the front mower so i believe we are going to be leasing this one as well. And this is going to be another 1,275. And yes, I am writing these down <laughs> so I can keep track of it later. We're going to rent that. And then we're also going to rent a... No, you know what? We're not going to ted the grass. We're going to we're going to sell this as straight up grass. Uh, if we look at the price of the products. Uh, grass doesn't really cost that much less than uh, hay. Well, yeah, it's about twenty dollars per thousand liters. So uh, I don't think we're going to worry too much about turning the grass into hay. But we are going to push through, and we are going to mow both lots again so this uh grass field here and then the other grass field so uh yeah we'll just uh jump to the uh to the store and pick up our pick up our items all right so let's pick up the mower now we are going to have to rent a tether or sorry not a tether a windrower Ooh. wow <laughs> I apparently forgot how to back up. Okay, close enough. And let's <laughs> zoom out a little bit. We're a little too close there. But yeah, we're going to have to get a uh, windrower to row this up. And then we will uh, sup with the uh, bailing. And I I may or may not bail or uh, rent another baler. Uh, the one we have is a little on the small side. So we'll have to... Uh, we'll have to... Oh, I totally forgot we're in... The UK. 
<laughs> I'm driving on the wrong side of the road. The American is coming out in me. Here we go. But yeah, so uh, we'll, we'll have to see if we want to get another baler. These are going to be pretty big um, swaths of, uh, of grass, so I think we'll be, uh, I think we'll probably be renting a bigger baler. All of, I think all of the grass. I don't think I need to keep any of the grass. Um, what I do want to do though, is before we sell all the grass, so I'm going to go ahead and start filling this up. So we've got, uh, we've got hay here. Yay, hay! And yay, straw, which we have none of. And, uh, silage, which we have none of. So, um, actually we could make silage out of some of the grass as well. We don't need it right away. Uh, so, yeah. But it's something I want to keep, uh, keep track of, so. You know what? I totally forgot the front mower. <laughs> Let's go back. You know, there's there's always something that I end up forgetting. And, uh, yeah, that that's the one thing I forgot. Very, very important to uh, get this mode. Ah, uh, there it is. Am I going to be able to fit under here? Uh, I'm going to say not, so let's unfold it. <laughs> and people say this series isn't realistic. Actually, come to think about it, I don't think I've had a s maybe just one or two comments on this series. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're, we're going to have to fold that up. Oh, come on. There we go. Uh, we need to get through the gate, so... Alright, and this should go way faster than the last time we did this. Whoops. And, uh, yeah, one of these days I'm gonna have to check and see, uh... If I can get that gate removed, because I'm, I'm never gonna have this field or the other grass field as an animal enclosure, so I feel like a gate there is just kind of pointless. Let's go ahead and lower those down. Front one. We'll lower down. All right, we'll be underway. Uh, yeah. yeah. Looked for a second like the uh, front mower wasn't turned on, but yeah, we should be, uh, we should be cruising through this grass in no time at all. Uh, it, it almost took an hour, I think, last time to cut all this grass. This time, I, I don't think we're going to be even close to that. So let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, we'll start our first time lapse and, uh, see ya probably after I get this field done.
Alright, so that only took about 11, maybe 12 minutes to do in uh, real life, so that's not too bad at all. <clears throat> Hopefully you guys enjoyed that time lapse. It was a little bit more enjoyable to make than the last time I did a grass cutting time lapse. Uh, so that just goes to show how important it is to have the correct equipment to do the work and how much uh, how much easier it is to do said work as well so uh, but I was thinking as I was mowing because it was probably the longest longest time that I made a video where I wasn't talking and I could actually think about stuff uh, I guess I could probably could have knocked this whole part out if I had just scooted over a little bit but anyways um, so I was thinking I'm like if I'm renting the equipment, I think possibly turning all this grass into silage may be a good idea. Because uh, we're going to have quite a lot of, of grass. So, and silage, as you know, or maybe you don't know, who knows. <laughs> uh, but I'll show you in one second once we get done here. There we go. So if you go under here silage is actually three times as much actually a little bit more than three times as much depending on when you sell it and uh yeah this or december january is going to be the best time and it is now august so we will have plenty enough time for it to ferment and we can even uh We can even uh, keep some for ourselves for when we get cows. So, uh, and that's that's the fun part. I've I've never done cows before. I've never done pigs before, um, and I have done sheep before. So, technically, we can feed them grass. Uh, but like I said, we have a bunch of hay, and uh, yeah, they can. No, I don't want that one. I want the front one. Oh, I lifted it. <laughs> I thought I picked it up once before. Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and fold that up. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's head over to the other field. We've got 0.3 hours on this machine, so we shouldn't have to worry about... Actually, you know what? This seems kind of silly. But I'm going to mow this too. We probably won't pick anything up <laughs> from it. But it will clean it will clean the trail up a little bit, right? I almost, I almost wish I could turn the back mowers on and uh, trim up the hedges a little bit. Ah, let's get this little patch of grass too. I might come through here and, and kind of clean this up. Because uh, it all seems to be... Yeah, it all seems to be uh, grass through there. So, anyways, we could. Nah, I guess technically, I didn't need to fold that up, but you know what? Who's counting, right? So yeah, that's the plan after uh, our next time lapse, which will be uh, this field. So, and you know what? Let's look at the map real quick. I was in the right. Uh, but if we go into our farmland, yeah, we don't really own Ford Field 14, um, but it feels like it should be part of the uh, of the farm. So I kind of want my plan is to probably take 14, maybe six. That's a big that's a big field, but definitely three and two, and then 21, 18, and 19. Because uh, this is kind of the main road here. I mean, theoretically, we could own everything from the river down along the side and then back. Maybe up that way. Maybe 14 and maybe 6. We'll, we'll, we'll see. I mean, honestly, we could own all of this area here. If we ever get that far into it. I've never been that far into a series. Ideally, it would be kind of cool to own the entire <laughs> entire map, but that might be uh, getting ahead of myself. So but let's go ahead and 
fold these down. Oops, no, you were already on. There we go. And we'll kind of fold these back ones down and try to make some room for them. Back all the way up to the gate. And yeah, we can go ahead and start going. So yeah, I, I would love to run this series um, at least 100 episodes. That's my, my plan anyways. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get sick of this, uh, this map anytime soon, so... And like I said, I'm, I'm really pushing to get... ...bigger equipment, uh, so that farming is faster and better. So yeah, anyways, let's, uh, let's go ahead and start our next time lapse. Um, yeah, and we'll, uh, we'll go from there. I mean, we've gotten a lot done and it's only 9 o'clock in the morning, so... Alright, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to rent a tether. No, I did it again. Not a tether. A windrower. <laughs> I don't know why I keep getting those things uh, mixed up. But we're going to rent that. We're going to use our electric tractor. We're going to keep this tractor, obviously, for now. Uh, we could actually return the rear mower. But it really doesn't matter as long as we return it before we advance to the next month. <clears throat> and we're going to use the uh, windrower on the electric tractor. We're going to get that all ripped up and, and, and put in the windrows. And then we're going to use this tractor to uh, do the baling. So, or they, I, I should really call it the silage wrapping. Um, but yeah, we can go ahead and... Uh, Uh, I forgot what the control was. Uh, I feel so bad. Um, what? Alright, you know what? We'll just get out of the tractor. Apparently I can't turn it off without getting out of it, so anyways. I think it's a setting that I didn't... Uh, didn't quite grab. Or didn't quite set, I guess, is the best way to say it. Um, so yeah, let's uh, jump into our electric, little tiny electric tractor, which is now fully charged. And, uh, oh, you know what? I totally forgot. I totally forgot that we, um, we accidentally sold our, uh, tether. And we sold our windrower, so let's go to the store and pick that up. And I will I will see you over there. Alright, so we're at the uh, at the store, so let's go see what we can catch here. There we go. Uh, oh look, it's on windrowers, how convenient. 
Uh, so this is the one we went with last time, and I think it's the one that we're going to go with this time. Um, we only have, I think it's 68 horsepower in our electric tractor, but it's electric, so that's the equivalent of 120. I don't know, I'm just making stuff up now. Uh, but this is double the price of this. And if it was double the width, I'd be okay with it, but it's not. So um, that's all we have. It's, I think it's all stock. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and we're going to lease this. I should buy it. 20,000. You know what? This year we're going to lease it. Um, so it's 994. So right now, I believe we are under $10,000 uh, with equipment that we've uh, leased. And then the other thing that we need to get is a baler. And I'm thinking this one. That's a decent baler, although round balers, round balers are a nightmare uh, because you have to stop. <laughs> you can't just keep cruising with them. Uh, that only does 125 though. This is 150 at 10. I think all these are exactly the same. Uh, although none of these have the random quote. Wow, that's kind of cool. You can do random foil color. Oops. And well, there's a bunch of random colors. So uh, anyways, it's usually easier to do quadrant balers. Then you have to get a wrapper on top of it. And we're talking a pretty penny. So um. Maybe this Massey Ferguson, that's not too bad. It's 140 horsepower, so we're good on horsepower. And we could do the random foil color. And this has a million and a half different colors, so we could kind of have some fun with it. Although I was looking at this color. That looks like a nice solid color instead of just doing a plain white. But uh, yeah, we're going to possibly rent that for 4300 So I think all this grass work is going to cost us about $15,000 when it's all said and done. But I'm not going to lease this one yet. So let's go ahead and oh, let's go ahead and jump back into our electric tractor. And we're going to, uh, yeah, we're going to drag all this back home. So. We're going to get uh, hopefully all the fields taken care of. So I'm going to go ahead and jump cut this so that uh, we're instantly back at the farm. All right, so we're back on our farm. Let's go ahead and get this beast of a machine unfolded. And turned on and lowered and we will start windrowing everything up. And I gotta get way over here first. Little crooked. I could follow the large swath in the middle. That's probably a good uh, indicator of where I need to be. But yeah, so uh, this shouldn't take... Actually, this should take almost the exact same amount of time as it did to cut the grass. Uh, the nice part is, is that we are using our electric... Uh, tractor so we don't have to worry about incurring a hourly rate fee on the lease trailer and we will use that uh i called it a tra trailer didn't i the tractor and uh yeah we won't have to uh well, we'll we'll be able to use that tractor for the bailing and probably still come in under the uh one hour mark so if we don't, if we get really, really close to the uh, the time limit, we may end up just basically using the rest as grass and uh, bailing up that. And then possibly we could use that for the sheep, so 
it, it's probably a win-win no matter which way you uh, slice it. So, but yeah, let's go ahead and uh, jump into another time lapse. I hope you guys like time lapses because this episode is going to be full of them. And uh, but the the good news is is that we're getting a lot of stuff done. So we will uh, see you in a second. So that was a pretty long time lapse, so I may end up having to cut some of it out because uh, I went ahead and did both fields. But I wanted to bring you guys back as I'm finishing this one up and kind of explain what I'm doing and yeah, and I kind of already explained this once, but you know what, might as well say it again. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, we're going to go rent the bail wrapper and we are going to go make some silage and then the silage will sit around on the farm until uh, until it's ready to sell so we should be making roughly three times as much and right now I believe I've only put in about fifteen thousand dollars to rent all the equipment so hopefully we'll make a pretty good profit off of it but as you can see, I'm kind of, I'm going to join these two together into one just to hopefully clean off, clean up this end here. And boom, we are done. Let's go ahead and get that folded up. Fold it up. Thank you. 
And yeah, it's it's not the cleanest job, but it's not too bad. I mean, I like to pride myself on it, so. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go get the uh, baler. We're going to return this. And I'm going to use this tractor so that uh, we use the other tractor as little as possible. Because uh, we're right at the five or half an hour mark. I would I would love to be able to uh, not go over the one hour mark. Like I said before, I think if we are about to go over the one hour mark, we will uh, go ahead and just bail the rest of it as grass. Because uh, I don't think it's going to be worth the... Uh, uh, I'm assuming. What is it? Like a thousand dollar fee? Uh, where is all my vehicles that are on loan? You know what? Wrong menu. Uh, so these are the ones on loan. So we are looking at. It doesn't tell me. You know what? It's a 7S155. So if I go to the store, that will tell me. Medium tractor. I lease this. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's a three thousand dollar fine or uh, fee. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna definitely use this tractor as much as possible as I crash into the uh, the woods there or into the gate. I'm looking at the hedgerow, thinking it's uh, woods for some reason. All right, I feel like the gamma's off for some reason. Can I go yet? Can I go? Thank you. Um, I might go in there and turn down the brightness real quick. Oh, uh, I think it's in this menu, isn't it? No, you know what? I got to do it. I got to do it outside of the game. Uh, yeah, so we're not going to worry about that, so. La -dee -da -dee -da. Nice drive. Nice day for a drive in the uh, countryside. It's 83 degrees, so it's like mid, say 24, 25 degrees Celsius if you uh, work in that frame of mind. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and uh, I think we can return it from here. We did. We did most of the work, so. Uh, let's go ahead and return this. Okay, yep, I'm just double checking to make sure that we don't need it anymore. And uh, yeah, we can go into this menu, get the baler. I think I'm going to go with uh, 84,000. That's also 84,000. Should we go with the Fent or the Massey Ferguson? I feel, I feel like, yes, we should probably go with the Massey Ferguson. Kind of keep that theme going of uh, the same tractors. And I'm going to randomize our foil. I don't know exactly what that's going to do. If it's just going to give us a random color off the bat, or if every bale comes out as a different color, who knows? Uh, we're going to see. Maybe maybe the field will look like I, I spilt those uh, miniature colored marshmallows. <laughs> I forgot, forgot what they were called. I think they have a special name to them. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and lease this one. And we are leasing it for 4309 So sooner or later, I will get a calculator and add that up. And uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, attach it. This tractor should be fine. Pulling it back to the farm. I don't think it's going to be any issue there. It's nice having the electric uh, torque. Really helps getting the items up and running. Sorry, car. I'm bigger than you, so I have the right of way. And I'm a farmer, so that's the way it should be. <laughs> Anyways, let's uh, take a quick... We'll, we'll, we'll cut this out and we'll see you at the farm. 
All right, so we'll drop this off here. We will take this tractor and shove it back here. Ah, uh, no. Scratch that. Let's park it over here. <laughs> it's a good spot for it. We can jump out. We can jump into our Massey Ferguson. Um, and we can... We can actually go ahead and... Again, if I was in the right menu, we can go ahead and uh, sell that back as well. Let's hopefully be able to make this turn. I think we should be fine. And yeah, let's start. Uh, let's start bailing. I think it will automatically bail or wrap it. Uh, let me just double check. Come on, give me my controls that I need. Uh, do, 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 do. I don't know. Uh, well, I guess we'll figure this out uh, as we go. Let's turn on the baler. I believe the head was already lowered. There we go. And hopefully, hopefully it will uh, wrap it in the silage. It's saying it's grass right now. Um, turn on automatic. Maybe we don't turn on automatic drop. Uh, change bale size. We got it on the bit largest size. Just dust scale. Uh, I guess we'll leave that there. Yeah, I guess we'll uh, we'll figure it out. I think it should automatically wrap them. And I just realized I did not get the. Um, there's a mod to basically automatically get it to stop. Will it wrap it? Yes, it is wrapped. And apparently, our random color is white. <laughs> that's not um. That's not a random color. Turn on automatic drop. You know what? Um, having the automatic drop off kind of makes sense because I can carry around this spale until we have at least two. And as we creep up the hill here, very, very slowly very very slowly come on come on although now I don't know how you drop them oh didn't even realize we were at 100% okay, let's see if I can fix this problem that we have um Yeah, nothing tells me how to unload them, so let's go ahead and just turn it on. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so we will have random colors. That's kind of fun. <laughs> it's different. I'm not going to lie there, so... Uh, we'll just leave automatic drop on. I don't uh, I don't remember what the control is to, uh, to drop them, but what you can do is if you, if you want, you can carry the one around until you start to empty uh, the baler out and then you can have basically drop two of them off at once so uh, I could see in real life where it would be easily done that way uh, but yeah I think I, I think I kind of want to install that um, that mod where the baler will slow down and then come to a stop uh, so I think I might go ahead and stop recording and go ahead and do that real quick. Look at that. We've got all these pretty colors of, of oil now. I like it. This is this is going to look exactly like I thought it would. Um, so let me stop there and then we will uh, get that mod installed, installed real quick. All right. I don't usually show this part, but I wanted to... Uh, kind of show you guys. I, I found a couple different mods while I was looking. 
there's this mod that is a dynamic lowering. So when you put your bow down, it will sit on the surface of the ground until you start to drive away. And then it will sink in and start tearing everything out. So it's a little bit more on the realistic side. Uh, you can also kind of pause this and see what mods I have loaded. Uh, even though some of them I don't use, some of them I do. So uh, there was another mod as well. There's the round baler extension, which is something you have to do manually. So you have to go under your computer name, go into documents, go under my games, Farm Simulator 22, scroll down, you'll find mods, it's a couple folders down, and then you just copy and paste that folder uh, into a mod because unfortunately this one is not on um, Mod Hub. And then you have this mod here, which is a rounder baler. Uh, so your bales will be, instead of having those sharp, clean edges, They'll be a little bit more rounded, so I was like, yeah, you know what? It looks better, looks more realistic, so that's what I went with. And then these are all the other mods that I have too, so uh, if you guys just want to kind of lightly browse through these just to see what I'm using um, and or not using, because, you know, like this one here I actually turned off. Um, and then this one here is big tractors that I haven't used yet, so. Um, there's a quad track in here, which is a massive trailer as well. There's the giant chicken barn, those type of things. So I just wanted to, um, yeah, I just wanted to show that real quick. And we will uh, get Greenlands loaded and we will uh, finish this episode. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if this is going to be one episode or two episodes. So I'm uh, kind of doing a lot of recording right now. And uh, yeah, mainly it's because it's about uh, 40 degrees outside in Celsius. So it's uh, it's very, very hot. <laughs> so I, I'd, I'd rather be downstairs in the basement recording than outside doing anything physical like mowing the grass. So um, hopefully this should load fairly quickly. Okay, we're we're good to go. All right, so uh, we're all right. So let's go ahead, and all we should have to do is nope lower lower our pickup. I believe the baler is already turned on, so it should start picking everything up. Just like it should. Ooh, bad turn there. My fault. Uh, hopefully we can remedy this. Yes. Okay. So uh, we can throw on cruise control, and what this baler extension will do is go ahead and slow the tractor down. Uh, I believe it's ninety percent. Yeah, ninety percent. It slows it down once it becomes full. We will uh, discharge the bale. The bale will get wrapped. Cruise control will automatically kick back in. The bale will get wrapped. And you can see the, the, the mod that I put on the bales to kind of give them more of a rounded edge to them. They just, they look a little bit more realistic. So um, definitely glad I did that. And then it will drop the bale off. So. And that's literally all she wrote, so hopefully we, uh, I'm hoping we won't go over on our time for this tractor, but I, I have a feeling we will. And I've already tried using the electric tractor on here. There's no way that it's, uh, there's no way that it's powering it. So we're going to either fail until we, uh, hit 9.9 .9 hours. Uh, which, if I look, I think I can select this and it will tell me, yeah, up to, oh, it doesn't tell me. Hmm. And we, uh, we, yeah, we, we missed a lot of grass there. Uh, I was hoping it would tell me the hours a little bit more accurately. But yeah, I guess we're I guess we're kind of stuck with points one. Uh, so we'll we'll try to bail what we can. And ideally, I should be doing 
should be doing the other field just so that I don't have to worry about these slowdowns going up the hill. Uh, because yeah, that uh, that cost us money. We could probably get one or two extra bales, maybe three. And that could be a couple thousand dollars at the end of the day, so. But yeah, I kind of I kind of like these uh, random marshmallow colors. <laughs> it's fun. Plus, I have the mod installed that gives you even more bale colors. So we should have a uh, a nice collection of skittles <laughs> by the time we get done here. So. But yeah, I, I suppose we can uh, start another time lapse and uh, hopefully get this field taken care of before we run out of time because we're already at 0.7 hours, so we are definitely running out of time here. Alright, I wanted to bring it back real quick as we're starting this row, or this uh, field. I am not anywhere near where I thought it would be. Oh. I, I thought it was unloading, <laughs> and that's why it stopped. Uh, but I am nowhere near where I thought I would be, so I think we're just going to pay the extra 3000 Uh, because we should have, we should have plenty of, uh, extra silage to uh, work with and it seems like the random color it doesn't do it every one which is a little disappointing because I have so many different colors uh, I would love to have a bunch of random colors uh, but it seems to do every six I believe it could be every three and that the black ones that's kind of the first one that I started paying attention with there was six black ones and I think we're on the fourth red one now, so maybe it is every six that it um, pump, pump these out. But yeah, I, I should have done this field first because this field yielded way higher than the other field. Uh, so I would have I would have been picking up a lot more silage instead uh, with the same amount of time. So, but anyways, I decided to uh, say screw it, and uh, yeah, we're going with uh, we're going with. You know, we'll, we'll stay under two hours for sure. Uh, which means we might be able to use this tractor for other things like uh, driving around picking up all the bales to uh, put them in the, uh, the shed there. So, uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and we'll pay attention to this color. We'll see if uh, how many it will uh, drop off before it switches. So uh, this will be bale number two. And uh, yeah, we, you can uh, you can kind of pay attention to this in the timelines.
Alright, as we uh, finish up the field here, it, it appears that our randomizer for our foil colors are, from what I can tell, one, you either get one, two, three, four, five, or six colors, and then it will switch. Uh, that seems to be random. Preferably, I would have preferred just every one or maybe even two switch a color. But um, yeah, that's the way that works. So, you know what? It is what it is. It's kind of cool. It's interesting. It's it's going to look even better when we go to pick this up. But we will, uh, we will actually pick all this up tomorrow. Or should I say uh, in September. And uh, yeah, we'll be one month closer to getting everything uh, go the way. We've got 55%. I wonder if I can find... I wonder if I can find enough grass. I'm hoping I can. Uh, I did go over the one hour mark. Uh, so, I mean, it is what it is. I, I think we definitely, if I did the cal calculations correctly, Three bales will cover the charge, uh, the extra charge for the, the tractor, so definitely worth it if that's the case. If I'm wrong with my math for whatever reason, which there's a good chance that I am, uh, yeah, it might be a couple more, but we've got... How many bales did we end up with? Oh, you know what? I, I had to quit the game, so uh, it's saying 69 bales. 69 bales, really? All right, let's see if we can get number 70. We actually have a lot of grass right here, so I think we'll be good. Nope, I had it on. <laughs> I think we'll be able to get enough out of this patch here. Or not. We gotta wind our way back up this way, but um, yeah, I'm gonna take care of this. I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here. We hopefully will get enough of this bailout. Uh, it is, I think it's the first purple one, isn't it? So if I do get it out, then you definitely will see it. Um, I actually am a fan of this purple color for bale wrappers. I don't know. It's just, is it's a unique color uh, when it comes to bales. So <laughs> in fact, any color is unique because I don't think at least that I know of. I mean, I've really only seen black and white bales, with the majority being white. Um, so yeah, for whatever reason that is. Um, let's see if I can zoom out and get a better glimpse of any large patches of grass. I think I'm going to be driving around for a while, but I'm going to end it there. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, give me a thumbs up, let me know. Uh, what you liked about it and what you didn't like about it or you know if you just want to say hi go ahead I'll uh, I usually respond to everyone and uh, yeah we'll uh, hopefully see you guys in the next episode bye for now